So I actually remember as a kid watching Casino Royale, like as a little kid. I remember renting Quantum of Solos from Blockbuster, and I was like, we gotta see the next James Bond theaters. And I remember seeing Skyfall with my dad and being blown away, especially by the cinematography and the lighting in that movie. So damn good. I love Skyfall. Casino Royale is the greatest one by a lot, but I love Skyfall. And then we got Spectre, but now it has come to an end. My childhood James Bond, the one I grew up with, is coming to an end. That is insane. This is crazy. I'm here to talk about Daniel Craig's one last outing as James Bond. No Time to Die stars Daniel Craig, Ana de Armes, Rami Malek, and Lashana Lynch, and is about James Bond has left active service. His peace is short-lived when Felix returns, turns up asking for help, leading Bond onto the trail of a mysterious villain armed with dangerous new technology. We are finally here to talk about this damn movie. You know how many delays this movie has been through with what happened last year? It's finally being released, and I am so glad I got to see this in an IMAX here with 250 plus people in this theater tonight. It felt amazing to gather around to watch James Bond, Daniel Craig's one last outing. Beginning with my positives has to be the direction by Kerry Joji Fuganagi, which if I mess that up, which I totally did just by saying it, um, yeah, I'm sorry, but you're a great director because this movie looks amazing. I mean, the action scenes are mwah. I mean, when it comes to James Bond, there's a certain class of James Bond that you have to bring in a James Bond movie. This movie brought everything, the, the cool cars, the cool suits, the great humor by Daniel Craig, the, just the sexiness, the action-packedness. I mean, this is a James Bond movie from beginning to end. I was really entertained by every action in this movie. They were helmed very well. One scene of shaky cam, which was a, a scene of a person running, but I understand that. Besides that, the car chases, the shootouts, the fighting, it's all beautifully well shot. The cinematography looks amazing. Hans Zimmer's music, I mean, it's Hans Zimmer. Do I need to say much? It's his music. The music's gonna be really good. Everything technical about this movie is perfect. It's what James Bond needs to be. Cool, sleek, sexy, and just badass. Of course, Daniel Craig is amazing as James Bond. I think he's the best James Bond in my personal opinion. It's a little biased because again, I grew. this is my James Bond. I grew up with him as James Bond. He's amazing. He just has everything James Bond wants to be. He's cool, he's awesome, and he's just a really good looking dude. I'm just saying, Daniel Craig is an awesome actor. He's gonna be known for James Bond probably the rest of his life, but for this final performance, he kills it, and so does everyone in this movie, especially Lashana Lynch. If I said that name wrong, I'm also sorry. She's awesome. She plays 007 as well, which again, I won't talk about spoilers, but she's 007 in this movie, and she is also a badass. I really liked her in this movie. She's a great sidekick to James Bond. They have great bickering, great humor from each other. She was a really solid character in this movie, and I loved everything with her. Ana D. Armez, which again, probably said the name wrong. I gotta stop saying that, but she was really good when she was in it for 10 minutes. Like, she's literally in this movie for like 12 minutes, probably. Like, that's it. She's good and very cute and funny in this movie, but like, that's it. But everyone else, I mean, the performances by everyone in this movie is just awesome. Nomi Harris is great in this movie. Ralph Fiennes, I mean, everyone. Then of course, we have Rami Malek as our main villain, who is a very good, scary looking, intentional villainous character. I just think his evil plan is very evil plan 101. I don't want to spoil what the plan is, but I mean, it's your basic evil villain, I would say. I mean, he has good motive when you first, like the first time you see him, which is the opening scene, great opening scene. It's really scary and good villainous, but just his initial plan, his plan for the whole movie, the reason why this whole movie is even a thing, it was kind of like, all right, that's, that's, that's James Bond, like, 101, Dr. No kind of plot, like, if you ask me. But overall, though, I mean, the movie's great. Like, I have no issues with, like, m more of the technical aspects. I think the emotional impact this movie does, they do a certain thing with James Bond as a character. They show up towards the middle act, and then the last half, you're like, oh, so is this certain thing gonna be? Yep, that's, that's, it's something that's very impactful with James Bond, and I'm really glad they went this route. 
And when the movie ended, you really consider and say, that is the end of Daniel Craig as James Bond. It is a gut punch. I, again, no spoilers. I'm just going to say it is a very, very satisfying ending for him as the character. And I really enjoyed him as a James Bond. I really enjoyed this movie. The music, the action, the score, everything about it. This is James Bond 101. This is a tier, just greatness of James Bond kind of movies. I prefer Casino Royale and Skyfall because I've probably seen them more. But maybe the more I see this, I might like it more. For 2 hours and 43 minutes, I was really entertained. And I need you guys to go see this in IMAX like right now. I'm going to give No Time to Die an A-. minus. I felt very happy at the very end of this movie when the credits started rolling. Everyone just clapped. I was like, man, it really is the end of an era for James Bond. I'm, I'm excited to see who the next James Bond to see. I'm excited to see the next beginning of the franchise for this character and what they're going to do, who's going to be James Bond. Very exciting stuff, but I will commit to myself. Daniel Craig, you were awesome. Congratulations on going out on top. I love this movie. Go and see it as soon as you can tomorrow. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.